In this video, we'll learn to solve linear equations. So we've got a at 50 equals 70. You can imagine having just bought an apple and now you've got 50 pens in your pocket. So in terms of the value of roll, the apple included the 50 pens, that makes 70 pens. So what is the value of the apple? If we take away 50 on both sides, because remember one of the rules that we've got for equations is that if we take away the same amount both sides, then the equation will remain the same. So if I take away 50 on both sides, so take away 50, take away 50, then I'm left with just A on this side, and that is equal to 70 take away 50, which is 20. So the value of the apple is 20 pence. Now, I go into a shop with a certain amount of money, which I'm going to denote with M, and I spent 42 pounds. What I'm left with is 19 pounds. So what was the amount of money that I had when I, before I went into the shop? So again, I want to just have M on one side and work out the value. So I'm going to get rid of this, taking away 42. To undo that, I'm going to add 42. So I add 42 on both sides. So M, take away 42, add 42 leaves me with just M. 19 add 4 to 2, so 9 and 2 is 11, and 1 carried over, 4 and 1 is 5, and the 1, 6, so 61. So the amount that I entered the shop with is 61 pounds. I'm making it up because obviously there is no scenario in this particular case, or this, or this given to us, just to help us understand. So... There were £56 in the bank account to begin with. Then I withdrew a next amount, an amount that we don't know. And what I'm left with is £35. Now, there are different ways I can solve this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this negative x into this side to make it a positive one. So I'm going to add x on both sides. So I have 56 on this side and then 35 plus X on this side. I just want to have X in its own. So I'm going to get rid of the 35. So I'm going to take away 35 here and 35 here. So I end up with X. And on this side, 6 take away 5 is 1. 5 take away 3 is 2. So x is 21 pounds. So let's see, 56 take away 21 gives us 35. So here we have another two examples with a few more steps. So we've got 2x plus 8 equals 36. We want to figure out the value for x. So what we're going to try and do is get rid of what we have on the same side as the x. So first thing to do is get rid of the 8. Another way to look at this that might help you is to think of what do you do in terms of bid mass as the first step when you've got multiplication and addition, you're going to do multiplication first and then addition. So in this particular case now, you're going backwards because you want to undo the steps and get to the roots of it, figure out what's the value for x. So we'll take away 8 on both sides. So now we have only 2x on this side, which is equal to 28. So two lots of x equals 28. What about one lot of x? 
So what are we doing to 2x to get just x in its own? We've multiplied 2 by x, now we're going to divide by 2 to undo it. So 2x divided by 2 gives us just x. 28 divided by 2 gives us 14. So we have the value for x in here. Looking at this other one, we've got 2y take away 9 equals 3. So of course we need to find the value of the unknown, which is y. So we're going to get rid of this negative 9. So to undo it, we add 9 both sides of course so 2y take away 9 add 9 gives us just 2y and 3 add 9 is 12 so 2y is 12 we're going to divide by 2 to get just y in itself in its own 12 divided by 2 gives us 6 so y is equal to 6 Okay, so we've got a few more examples. x divided by 5 equals 2. So what's that number which when we divide by 5, it gives us 2? You've probably worked it out in your head. But what we need to do, since we are dividing x by 5, we're going to do the reverse, which is multiplying by 5. So multiplying both sides by 5. x divided by 5 times 5 leaves us with x in its own. And 2 times 5 gives us 10. So x is equal to 10. 10 divided by 5 gives us 2. 4x divided by 3 equals 8. So we've divided 4x by 3. So we're going to multiply it by 3 now. So 4x is equal to 8 times 3, which is 24. So if... 4x is 24, what is the value of x? So we're going to divide by 4, both sides. So we can have x in its own. So 24 divided by 4 gives us 6. Let's try it out. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 divided by 3 gives us 8. Let's try another one. Okay, so we've got x divided by 2, take away 7, equals negative 1. So we're going to add 7 both sides, so we can eliminate that. Aiming to get x in its own. So we just end up with x divided by 2 on this side. And we have negative 1 at 7 which gives us 6 on this other side so to get x on its own we're going to have to multiply by 2 both sides so we have x is equal to 6 times 2 which is 12 let's plug it back in 12 divided by 2 gives us 6 6 take away 7 gives us negative 1. 